everyone welcome back it is tuesday and about to be wednesday for some of you and i'm here angela um to welcome you back to my channel and for us to do a quick little project today now this one's got a little bit of a, a twist because i'm going to be using um some of the pages from my mini journal for my wildflowers so i'm sorry this side i'll show you what those pages look like now in a minute um, and I'm going to make something with this that has um, not much resemblance to what it's really intended for. But we're actually going to put this project into our large wildflower journal. So I hope you're excited to see what else you can do with kits that aren't necessarily their initial purpose. So that's what I'm planning to do today. So I'm going to show you the, the pages that I've used. Now this is from my mini wildflower journal. You could do this with any other mini journals um, and you could put it into any kind of journal with anything that you like because there are quite a few of these but you could do it yourself as well right so i've used one of the background pages that come from that kit i love this page i've also taken the cover so i'm going to use the cover um, i've then taken this page over here which is a, a double um envelope pocket thing with i've used some of the ephemera here as well um i've then taken the two envelopes so you've got two envelopes like that all right um, i'm going to use those use that use those and that and all of these that i've just shown you here all right so you need to cut those out first of all they only need to be printed on one side so don't worry about that i'm going to put those to the side so first off i made the cover like usual so i've um, cut out the cover um, and i have backed it with the sheet i showed you there so this is like a double sheet and i've glued them together and that's all i've done then what i've done is i have folded scored and folded that flap inwards like that a flat so we're not curving that one and then instead of f scoring along the two white lines there i have folded the this piece right up in half to match that bit over there and i have then just scored that over there we'll deal with the white lines in a minute so you've got this folded in half and the flap folding inwards all right so that's the first step i've just inked that i'm not sewing it you can sew it if you like but i'm not on this occasion okay so that's where we are so that's going to be um a little insert and i'm going to show you what we're going to do with that i'm just going to put that to the side for the moment with this piece um which is the back piece that i mentioned to you well, it's not the back piece anymore this piece here um you will also see that uh you've got one score line here um, a little white line I have folded that bit in there and I've taken the same amount and folded it in on the other side all right so those two I have done you don't normally do that so that's what I've done after cutting this piece out now the normal score lines for the mini journal are there and I'm ignoring those I'm then just folding this whole piece in half all right so it meets like that okay so that's what you need to do now the beauty of this is because everything's sized already you're not going to have to size very much okay so what i want to do with this um i want to sew this together you are welcome to glue it i am going to sew this um but if you're gluing you just need to put some glue down there some glue down there but very importantly we need to um work out where the middle is of this and put some glue in the middle all right, so I'm just going to take my pencil. Um, I like my board, so it's easy just to see here. I'm just lining it up, so centralizing this the best that I can. And here's the middle. I'm going to draw a little pencil mark with the, the middle there. So we are looking at very lightly that bit there okay now if you were gluing you'd need to find the middle on the inside one of these sides and do exactly the same and draw a line down the middle wherever that might be 
all right to you and then glue along that line and then those two lines and you'd have two pockets over there all right so i am going to first of all with the flaps that i have got folded here you need to glue those down so let's not skip that point that bit i just want to get some so it doesn't catch this is just for me i like a reinforced edge with pockets i find that you know if you want longevity with these things and um, one little sheet of paper when you're moving things in and out it might not stand the test of time so i do like to make sure that i just give it that little bit extra strength okay so what i'm going to do now very quickly is i'm going to sew along there there and there well i'll probably end up doing the whole thing you're going to leave these two bits where you folded the edges open so let me do that quickly and i'll okay. be right. so you can see i've just stitched down there and down there and now when i take my uh, little bone folder you've got two little pockets over here all right so that's what we're doing with that piece and um you can just distress along the edges as you like now we've got this white strip here but that's okay I've got a plan so I'm going to decorate this quickly um, I'm going to just put some bits on it I've got these lovely artsy stems which are Sizzix dye and I thought I would just I've got my little tray here of goodies so I wanted a green one and a sort of a peachy one so we'll take those two I'm going to use uh, my little nasturtium that I've sort of trimmed I've got a little bee here and I'm going to use one of these little um, quotes. So I want to just decorate this up. So it's just a case of deciding how I want them. I'm going to layer these two. So one's going to be longer than the other. I think I'll make that one longer. And I'm going to stick it on that line. So we will be none the wiser. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. So I just want to get that down. Yeah, I do love these um, artsy stems. I want to get it straight on that line. It's a great guide for this. Um, they are just so zooty. <laughs> Funky is the word, isn't it? Yeah, so I like that. This one I want to make a little shorter. So I'm going to have it about up to there. So not that much shorter, really. Maybe I'll just move it over a slight bit. I'll just grab a pair of scissors. Just take that off. That's just going to give me an idea of where I want it. And then I can stick this down. So I hope that you guys are all having great weather. Not too cold, not too hot. We're into our last month of summer here. And I must say, um, I still haven't had any decent rain where we are. And the grass is looking very sad um, we're not allowed to put the sprinklers on and it's extremely humid not hot but just humid and I, I, I do prefer I'm looking forward to autumn now I sound very um, typical don't I I'm always moaning about the weather I'm never happy yeah that's what we like anyway there we go so I've got those two down and it's just a, a case of a little bit of this a little bit of that so i think i'm gonna grab a little butterfly as well so just to cover up the white bits that's what i'm trying to do so if i have that on that side and that like that and that like that maybe that one's a bit big the b i think we have the b yeah i'm gonna cut this bottom bit off here don't want this white sticking out and you're not going to see most of it but that's okay so we just adapt there we go right so this is going to go here this is going to go there yeah let's get that down all right love nasturtiums don't you just love them and i think i've told you before but we used to suck the nectar out of out of the little bit that sticks out the back there it was just amazing it's really lovely tasting okay so that one I said I'm gonna put over here um there we go I don't know if any of you follow football I don't normally um but I was very proud of the English lionesses who won 
the football UEFA um, and brought it home. Something the men weren't able to do, and I mean that in a loving way, not in a sexist way. But of course, you know, you got to rub it in. Um, but yeah, so proud of them we are. And such an uh, achievement for ladies everywhere. So it wasn't that long ago that women were banned from playing football. So how amazing is that? Just got to be, you know, just amazed. Just wonderful. Oh, this one's a bit big and I don't know if I haven't got a smaller one. Let's see if this one's... A... Oh, I've got that one. Um, we want that one. No. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay. So, yeah. Got the Commonwealth Games here at the moment and seeing such lovely achievement from people just amazes me. And I'm just blown away by everybody's commitment and dedication so it's just wonderful to hear right enough nattering for the minute um that's going to be my little pocket so i've got as i said two in here and what i want to do is i'm just grabbing my little bit like this now i want to stick this on the inside here but what the way i'm going to stick it i'm going to hold it at the top here and i'm going to put glue around the edges there to make another pocket um, so I'm going to just put some glue on the edge there and run that down the base and along the top with my art glitter glue. And then we want to get this. Um, here's my middle. So I'm just being mindful of the edge that I get that straight there. And I'm moving it slightly off center, just not to bulk up the center of the journal right so that's great we'll leave that for the moment there okie dokes now while that's drying I'm going to turn that over I'm going to get rid of these white lines now so I've got two pieces of lace that came from the wildflower um, ribbon and lace pack from Plum Boutique and I thought I would stick the green one over here Oh, I could do it that way, but yeah, I liked it the other way, I think. Okay, so I'm going to just take my fabric tack and get rid of those white lines, and it also just gives a little bit of decoration to this as well. Love a bit of lace on projects, and this lace is beautiful cotton crocheted lace. And I buy it in every colour that Vanessa has because I just love it. It's such a lovely quality. So we can't go wrong with that. Okay, now. I want to get that over there and as close to that white line as I possibly can. And the white line's really handy because you can get your lace nice and straight. And we won't be seeing it after this. There we go. So we just stick that down and that's just using my fabric tack, which is really great for this. All right, everyone. So we've got those done. Now I'll see what I'm going to do. I haven't quite thought through what I'm going to do to the covers here. Maybe not too much, but I'm not using them as covers. So you'll see so we've got that drying there while that's doing its thing and all that's drying what i want you to do now is grab those two envelopes that we um use all right so you've i've cut the envelopes and um, excuse me it's me on a reprint and i've folded in all my flaps and then with this one as well all right you don't need it to be double-sided this is a misprint so <laughs> don't worry about that and I know that you're not, you don't see it because we glue it all together. So I make use of all my paper. So yeah, I've got everything folded here. Right, so fold the flaps down. Fold the flaps down there. And now what we want to do is with this one, here's the, the, how they lie. Now you fold that in half, right? Turn it round, open it up with the flaps down. And you've got that there opened up with the flaps down. Now with this flap here, I want you to fold it upwards. And this one 
is inwards. All right, we'll get to that one. Open those flaps up for a moment, where although they're folded down so we know how they go. And we are going to now stick this flap into this fold here. So those folds are gonna meet up like that. And we're going to stick those down. All right, so let's do that. I'll just use my art glitter glue. So no time for incorrect <laughs> bits, you know, we're going to have to get it right. All right, so let's just get that up. I'm looking there, I'm fitting it to the corner, to the corner like that. And I'm sticking that down. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's do this now. The, now at the top, so just be mindful that you are sticking them both in the right direction. Um, at the top here, this flap, we want to stick this down first. This again will just reinforce a pocket. Um, if you want a pocket. But I'm actually not going to have a pocket. I'm actually going to close these completely up. But if you were doing this for your mini journal, you'd have you wouldn't stick this bit down. All right, but I am sticking it down because I'm not using this for a pocket. You could do. And then, um, as I said, uh, I'm going to cover the whole thing up because I'm not making a pocket here. I'm making a, something else. Right, so let's just get that all down. There we go. Now you want to flip that over. You want to do exactly the same. So just build, bend that flap down with these two up. We want to get that down again. Stick that one down. And then let's stick all of these down. So a bit of glue on that one. And this one. Don't want glue on my mat. <laughs> and then we can stick this one down too. We can do it on the inside if you like. There we go. Right, so we've got everything done. And um, now all we need to do is just pull these two together. And really, by taking your ruler and your bone folder on that fold line there, just give it a good firm score. Right, and you should be able to put your fingers in there. And these should meet up pretty well. Let's do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, like that. Okay, so there we've got a, a little cover. So we've got a little cover now because we're going to make a little booklet really easy that we're going to use in our little project there. All right. Okay, so what I want to do now, and I'm all over the place, this little bit that was also with the circles, I'm going to just make a little pocket over here. So just a little pocket. I'm not going to decorate this too much like I do with a mini journal because it's going to go into another uh, thing. But you could make these as beautiful gifts and decorate them as much as you want. Um, but I thought I would keep it as basic as possible right so I'm going to use that as a little pocket and then um, I've taken three sheets of tea stained paper and I've cut them in half all right and I've made a little bit of a booklet here and then this will end up going in here now you can see it's a bit long and that's fine because all we do is and that's always the case I like to just Draw a line there, take it out. Um, it's good to keep your clip on these things so it stays together. I take my ruler and I take my craft knife 
and this is super sharp so you do want to be careful and just um, a couple of millimeters or a sixteenth of an inch um, going on the inside of that line and then very slowly I'm putting immense pressure on this metal ruler and if you use a craft knife use a metal ruler otherwise it will shave the wood off or the plastic off all right so you want to just get all of that off before you lift anything just check that looks good right so that now will be a perfect size and edge to go into your little envelopes there and i will sew that in in a moment so let's just put that to the side and uh, we'll get back to that and now this should be pretty dry which it is and that's looking great i just want to trim that off there a bit and um, that's the front there we've got a little pocket over here and now all i want to do on this side is i, I was thinking of closing this and I think that we should be able to, I think we should, um, but I'm not overly convinced that I want to completely close it. You can go and stick that down. I think it's going to be really a tight squeeze for your booklet. So I have a different plan for that um, after I've stitched that. So the other thing um, you could do is what I've done here is I've taken the two circles and the banners and I've attached it to my paper clip and I've done it on both sides well there are no banners here um, if you want to know how I did that then let me know I can always show you and I'm hoping to hold this closed with this all right so that's what I, I'm hoping so we'll see now I'm not going to decorate this because I'm going to be sliding this on and with this sliding on here you liable to ruin anything that might be raised here, so it'll hamper this. So I'm not going to decorate that bit there. All right, so let's quickly um, just show you how I uh, sew this in. So it's really easy. Okay, so I've got my little sponge bit. I've got my pokey tool. I've got my needle with thread. And this is just crochet cotton. I've measured it three times the length of that and put it into a darning needle. And uh, the other thing is I've just got some of these little quilting clips, but any kind of clip is fine. So you've got your little bit there. You've got your little booklet there. You want to get the middle. You want to fit it into the middle here. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for a journal because this is much thinner and easily to manage. And a lot of this I'm just eyeballing. So I'm going to take my clip. You can see I've centralized it um between there and there all right and while it's there i'm going to just clip it in place so move that a bit over there and i'm also trying to make sure that it's straight on all sides so we'll put a clip in over there and you don't really need more than two but i'm going to put in another two all right so that's that is nestled nicely into that fold there right now if you want to get your ruler out go right ahead i'm not going to do that i am going to eyeball this so um i think that's about the halfway mark and i'm going to just take my pokey tool and go straight through then i'm just taking a about one centimeter or half an inch doesn't matter and I'm going right through that and I'm doing the same over here then I'm getting the halfway mark between these two and the halfway mark between these two all right and that's pretty good as far as just gauging it with sight right now I'm going to just do as I normally do and I like my five-fold pamphlet stitch more than the three so I'm going to go straight in the middle and you're going to come out at that one right next to it go down the top more to the top come out over there where you just were um, skip the middle go to the next one 
go to this bottom one now like that um, back into this one over here and come out in the middle again all right so that was the fast version okay there we go needle done clips off how quick was that all right so now I just give this a little pull and you want to make a little knot make sure these are all nice and tight Uh, two knots and oh, I can hear Abby's arrived and then I'm going to just cut those off all right I've got a little booklet there and that's cute you can stamp a little image that I've got the stamp right there so I'm going to this is so cute you could take these and when this is full you know you could replace it just by undoing the strings you can cover the strings on the side if you want, you know, whatever you choose. There we go. Um, you can put stamps on any page, decorate it any which way, but I'm keeping it simple um, like that. Now in here, um, just had a little card. I'm going to just put that in there. So that's that for that little booklet. Um, and then on this side i'm just taking my two little tags so this is from my main kit um, but there are tags in the, the mini journal as well so let's just get that nice and open that one i will put the peach one up there so that's that so it's going to stick out a bit but that's fine this is smaller than the page so that's perfect That one's going to go in there and then I took one of the tags that had a lot of space in the middle because I love to have a tag where I've got a little bit of stuff and I can make it my own so I've just added a little die cut there a nasturtium and a butterfly and one of the lovely quotes Abby Abby <laughs> she's got to get her voice heard you see so she's um, playing with her toy so this one I'm going to put up at the top here. So that one's going to slide in at the top there like that. And then we've got a lovely page there. Looks so lovely. Um, and then on this one, I'm hoping this is going to work. Um, I'm going to stick that in there. Now, as I said, you could stick it down on one side if you wanted to. I'm wanting something a little bit more temporary so i'm going to try my best and get that slid on over there so it doesn't go all the way but it's going to hold it in place the paper clip all right and when you look on the other side oh, i must just turn that around a bit right so we've got our paper clip there we've got our, a, a little bit of the paper clip there um and we have got our little bit there and there we go that looks so cute on the back of this i've put my lace paper on the back of the tags um so you could put the tags in the other way if you wanted i mean you could put them in this way as well like that if that's what you wanted all right so we've got our ribbon and then what i thought was um, to take this and make it an insert in our journal so I think it was this one that's the one so I thought right this is perfect for here I'm going to put that straight in there like that I'm going to put that little page over so now we have that there how lovely does that look and I put a lovely ruffle here so one of these pretty bits I'm not sure which one but I'd find one of these to go in here. So probably that one, something like that, or maybe a little bit more color. So let's put a bit of yellow, maybe that one's cute and stick that on over there. And that would make a lovely page, wouldn't it? So we've got that there and then we've got that. And then on the side, we've got this bit goes there. And then we've got our booklet. And as you can see, hang on a minute you've got lots of space over here to undo this 
and easily remove your booklet and put it back in. All right. So that's my little project for today. All right. If I can get that to go right. Okay, everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. And I quite liked having a little challenging myself. Um, trying to use the cover and bits in a totally different way. And I just wanted to show you that um, you don't have to always use things for one purpose. They can have multi-purposes. So think a little bit out the box and give this a go because I think this would make a lovely addition to any journal. All right, everyone. Have a great afternoon and a great week. I hope to see you on Friday with another little project for our Wildflower Journal. Um, don't forget, there's a great sale on on my website, AngelaKerrDesigns.com. And also I've got a, a, a sale on in Etsy as well. All right, so stay safe. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you all for your amazing support and words of encouragement and wishes. You just are fantastic and I feel so blessed. I really do. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.